Hiro is one of Sunny and Marie's closest friends. They met at a pretty young age along with Kel and spent several years together as friends of course, meeting Aubrey and Basil along the way. And in his younger days, Hiro was quite a charming and a charismatic person. As we see in Headspace, he would use this charm on others to help him and his friends. Along with this, he was also the one who brought peace to the group when there was conflict, mostly between Kel and Aubrey. Not only that, but he was also very talented at things, as you can tell by all of the awards in his part of the room. Shared by Kel's side that is rather lacking in awards, but he makes up for it for being epic. And of course, he was very good at cooking, at school, and maybe even the piano based on him playing this. After not playing the piano for a while. So as you can tell, Hiro was pretty much like a perfect golden boy of the group with all his talents, charisma, peacemaking, and just overall being a great person. But he does have his flaws. After all, no one is truly perfect. First of all, because he's so nice, he has a hard time saying no to things, which we saw in Headspace when he was put on Sweetheart to show. Although, he is able to when it's something important to him. Like when he refuses to work for Jocelyn because he wants to find Basil. But also under Jocelyn, we see just how hard of a worker he is. See, even when we're trying to bring up his flaws, even his positives somehow come up. <laughs> but anyway, he's also very afraid of spiders to the point where he even becomes stunned when faced with them. So overall, we can see that this man is a pretty good person, almost perfect, hence the name Golden Boy that I gave him. And it's obvious that Hero has a life of success and happiness ahead of him. But one night changed everything for him forever. On the day that Sonny and Marie were supposed to play in a recital, Hiro and his mom went out to buy clothes and shopping, presumably to attend said recital. But when they came home, they found out Marie had passed away. A suicide by hanging. This was absolutely devastating for Hiro. One of his closest friends, and potentially his lover, suddenly commits suicide without ever showing a sign of suicidality. Hiro becomes overwhelmed with not only grief, but also guilt. He feels that he could have and should have helped Murray or at least noticed some kind of sign that she needed help. But he didn't. And that fact absolutely destroyed him. He could never correct this mistake he made, which I'm sure started his own cycle of self hatred. After Marie's death, Hero had an extremely hard time coping with it. Kel says he stopped caring about anything and he didn't even get out of bed, even for school or to eat even stopped working on his talents and caring for himself. Hiro stayed like this for around a year and his parents or Kelly just didn't know what to do to help him. It's very clear that Marie's death affected him greatly and it completely overwhelmed him with feelings of grief and guilt to the point where he didn't know what to do with them and he couldn't handle the normal stresses of everyday life. It's pretty clear that Hiro was suffering from some form of depression and I'm sure a lot of the characters in Mori did, but anyway. One night, Kel made an attempt to get him out of this depressive state, or at least make him feel just a little bit better. Kel started telling him that everyone misses him and everyone just wants him to get better and that everyone's worried and that Marie would not want him like this. Kel tried to help, but in the end it only angered Hiro. Hiro snaps and starts yelling stuff at Kel, some of it being pretty hurtful according to Kel. He kept yelling and crying harder and harder. Kel tried to calm him down but it just didn't help. Personally, I feel like that one line, Marie wouldn't want to see you like this is what made Hero snap. I mean I don't really know why but just hearing that like probably resurfaced all of Hero's guilt and grief and maybe even frustration within himself and it all just kind of came bursting out and unfortunately Kel was at the wrong place at the wrong time and became victim to all of Hero's rage. 
seeing Hero like this kind of really, really scared Kel because it was the first time he'd ever seen him act like this to the point where he even starts crying too and his parents, both of their parents, eventually come into the room and comfort Hero but they also completely ignore Kel and Hero noticing this kind of snaps back to himself and he rushes over to hug Kel apologizing to him over and over for his behavior. After this event, Hero starts to get a lot better. He starts taking care of himself more, focusing on school, and joining a bunch of other stuff. Although, Kel says that he's still somewhat closed off and he still feels guilty of Marisa and hasn't even visited her grave once, but at the end of the day, at least Kel has his brother back. On three days left before Sunny moves away, Hiro is still at college, so his family is preparing for his arrival, including Kel, and Sunny kind of tags along to help him prepare. And we learn that Hiro isn't actually his real name, he's named after a freaking sandwich. And a whole bunch of other stuff happens that doesn't involve Hiro, so time skip. It's two days left before Sunny moves away. Kel and Sunny have just finished her fight against Aubrey and her gang, leaving them three alone with Basil. And in a fit of rage, Aubrey pushes Basil into the lake accidentally. So Kel keeps Aubrey busy and tells Sunny to go save Basil. Sunny, however, does not succeed in his mission. But in comes Hero, the hero, and saves both Hero. Wait, the script is wrong. He basically saves both Basil and Sunny. Like the absolute Chad he is. He seems to have some knowledge in the medical field which would make sense because he decided to follow his parents advice and become a doctor but anyway they all take Basil home and Kel kind of explains the whole situation to Hero and, but Hero just like he, he just can't believe it that Aubrey would do such a thing as pushing Basil into the lake and he even starts to think that it might be his fault and he shouldn't have left but Kel was like no, it's not your fault. I think this little conversation shows that Hero is still willing to believe in the good in others despite their actions. Not only that, but also that he seems to blame himself and kind of feel guilty for things that are out of his control. But I guess it's understandable that he wants to help others as much as possible. I mean, even I feel like I want to help everyone all the time even though it's not really possible. At this point, the player can pretty much just hang out with Hero and Kel for the rest of the day and if we go to the church, we can see that Hero is still is not ready to visit Marie's grave even after all of these years. Which I think shows that he still blames himself for it, like Kel said before. But also that at this point he still isn't ready to let go and move on from her. Anyway, then we go back to the boy's house and finally have a moment to relax and we finally get to see a happy hero. Woo! Yeah baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! And he also encourages Sunny about moving, saying that it might be good for him. And they get the idea of going to Sunny's treehouse, which we'll get to later, but Hiro and Kel decide they want to see Sunny's house just one last time before he moves away. Especially since they have so many fond memories of it, but they have one obstacle to face. Their mom, well, she says yes, but she does kind of seem a bit irritated by it, since Hiro just kind of came back from college. So. Hero wants to make up for it and buy flowers, which they do, which I think shows that he's willing to make up for his mistakes even if it's a small thing like this and even if it really isn't a mistake. If he feels he did something wrong, he will try to make up for it and also we see he's kept his charm intact. <coughs> Finally we go into Sunny's house with Kel and Hero and they have a bit of a sleepover but first Hero kinda flexes on everyone with his talents by playing this absolute masterpiece. That's the second time I played it, but anyway. <laughs> but he also reminds Sunny of the closet room and the violin which Sunny has kind of been blocking from his mind for quite a while. And then everyone just kind of goes to sleep. And we have the longest headspace segment, I believe, which we're just kind of gonna skip over. And oh look, we're back in the real world. So Sunny wakes up after having some sweet dreams. And here's the piano playing in the piano room. So he goes to investigate and Hiro 
kind of also hears the piano, so he decides to check it out as well. Surprised to see Sunny also in there. Hiro tells Sunny how it's been hard for both of them and that he still thinks about Marie every day and that he still doesn't understand why she left the way she did. But he believes that Marie would have wanted them all to live happily and after a bit of a pause he kind of just tells Sunny to go upstairs and he'll catch up with a smile on his face. And if Sunny kind of leaves and re-enters the room, we can see how he truly feels in the moment. He's sitting at the piano crying about Marie. Even after all of these years, no matter how happy he makes himself look, deep down inside is the guilt and grief for Marie's death still eats away at him. Even if he believes Marie would have wanted him to be happy, he just can't bring himself to be so when he couldn't help her or save her from the horrible fate he thinks she brought upon herself. We wake up to a shiny new day where hopefully we make the absolute most of it and Hero is already on the grind finishing all of Sunny's chores and making breakfast. Sounds familiar doesn't it? But their morning is quickly interrupted by the one and only Kim saying that Aubrey hasn't really been acting normally and Hero says that they should help her despite how much she's changed because he still cares about her since they were friends for a very long time. And he thinks that she still cares about him too because that's the person she really is. So Kel is convinced and they decide to go help her. So they kind of enter without permission but uh <laughs> they just kind of ignore that and they go up to Aubrey's room and Hero tries to get in her perspective of everything that's happened over the past few days. But Kel kind of interrupts them and you know Aubrey and Kel kind of have a fight again. Hero realizes this and once again plays the peacemaker as he has done so many times before, showing that despite both Aubrey and Kel's flaws, he still believes in the good in both of them, and that despite their conflict, they can still make up and be friends. Afterwards, Hero finds the missing photos of Marie and tells Aubrey that it's not right of her to take them from Basil since they belong to him, which is another case of Hero wanting to help others and do the right thing. And we also see Sunny, Aubrey, and Kel finally being all friendly again. And then they put all the photos back in the photo album together and Aubrey and Kel finally apologize to each other and Hero's like we're all friends again and nothing's gonna go wrong of course. Hero also encourages Aubrey to apologize to Basil after everything that's happened and she kind of agrees so they decide to do just that and they get out of Aubrey's questionable household. But going to Basil's house you find out that he's in the hospital visiting his grandma who's not in the best condition so everyone kind of decides to just hang out until he comes back because friends are supposed to be there for each other and no one wants to repeat the mistake of abandoning each other again. From here we can finally go to Marie's grave with Hiro and Aubrey of course. I guess being with his friends finally gave him the courage to do so and Hiro apologizes to Marie for not visiting her and he still misses her and that he's sorry for not being there for her but Kel and Aubrey quickly comfort him though he says they shouldn't worry about him too much and so they have one last picnic with Marie. This part is particularly important for Hiro because he's finally visiting Marie after all these years of avoiding visiting her grave and I think he finally lets off some of the guilt and sadness that's been overwhelming him off of his chest and not only that but we can see that no one really blames him or holds a grudge for him for not being there for Marie which can definitely help him deal with the guilt he feels. I think he's been struggling with loneliness a lot since Marie passed away but his friends finally being there to support him is being a big help for him and it seems that he's finally starting to take the steps to overcoming his guilt and grief. The one problematic thing is when he tells everyone to not worry about him too much which makes sense for him to say since he doesn't really want to be a burden to others he wants to help them but at the same time it shows that he'd rather close himself off and suffer then to open up and burden others with his problems when really no one feels burdened by him. And we can also see Hero's tremendous fear of spiders after this but Kel, the man, the myth, and the legend saves the day. But anyway, after many years Sonny and his gang go to his house and Hero says that he's happy everyone can still be friends despite everything so that they can face what's next together. And so the adventure to his backyard to visit the treehouse and 
come across the stump where Marie... I think you all know what happened here. Everyone pretty much reflects on the events of that day and the shocking image they all came to when they arrived home and eventually Hiro tells the group that they should just keep going to the treehouse and they enter the treehouse and reminisce on all the memories they made together here. And Sunny finds the final picture of the photo album that was missing so they look through it together one last time. Afterwards though they talk about how they miss Marie but Kel says that hey at least they're back together again but Hiro says if only Basil was here and after that Aubrey kind of just sprints out of the treehouse and back to where the tree stump was and she vents out all that she's been feeling for the past four years and Hiro and Kel quickly comfort her. Hiro telling her that we all make mistakes and that he should have taken care of everyone since he was the oldest. Aubrey says that she doesn't deserve friends like them but once again Hiro reassures her that she does and it was clear that during all this time she still cared about them. Hiro says that they should all be there for each other and they have a nice warm group hug and they decided that they should go see Basil because he really needs them the most right now and so they do just that. In this scene we definitely see Hiro start to move forward the first time being gaining the courage to finally go to her death place which genuinely takes a lot of courage and the fact that he's able to reminisce of the happy memories they made rather than just focusing on the negative things. Although he still kind of feels responsible not just for Marie but also for not being there for all of his younger friends and helping them at a very rough time but he's reassured by his friends and the fact that they're all there for each other now and so they want to give the same comfort and support to the one who's been alone all this time, Basil. Unfortunately however when they arrive they find out that Basil has locked himself in his room and won't talk to anyone even after his friends try to talk to him there's still just no response so the friends decide to stay over at his house and be there for him at probably his lowest point leading us to the end of the game where Hiro tells Sunny that they will always be friends. So I guess this leaves us post game where Sunny tells the truth and I've done a whole video on it already but after taking a deeper look into Hiro's character I can reassure all of you that Hiro would most likely forgive Sunny for the actual truth. I mean we see it all throughout the game. Hiro is one of the most compassionate and understanding people in the entire game on several occasions saying how Sunny must miss Marie and how hard it must have been for him. Not only that, Hiro was always looking to do the right thing and hating and abandoning his friend would not be the best decision. In fact, it would most likely just cause suffering for both of them. Add that to the fact that all friends want to be there for each other now rather than making the same mistake of abandoning each other. I think it's pretty safe to say Hiro would for sure forgive Sunny. Hiro, like every character of the main cast, will always be affected by the day of the truth and learning the truth will most likely have the same effect. However, by learning the truth, I think it would finally put an end to the never ending guilt he felt for not helping Murray before her so called suicide. I guess the only thing that would need to be dealt with is his feelings towards Sonny which I'm sure he would forgive and still be friends with even if it takes a while. At the end of the day Hiro has grown so much over the years even if it hurt him a lot. He was able to overcome his crippling depression and still be the same charming, nice and hardworking man he's always been. He may not be a perfect golden boy but to be honest that doesn't really matter because he's still a great person willing to do anything for the ones he cares about and he will always be a versatile person that is universally loved. And I think that he'll finally be able to live in peace and happiness after everything just like Murray would have wanted him to. <laughs>